We handled them last year, and we're ready to do it again. They can talk all they want about how they owe us one, but the truth is, we owe them one. Big time. Be advised, my OnlyFans is now 20% off. Weirdos are going to come after y'all. Oh, no. Never. (laughs) Oh, never. Buff Nation, payback is coming. Colorado is ready to silence Colorado State and their doubters and settle the score. After a tough game last week, the noise surrounding Colorado football has reached a fever pitch. Critics are circling like vultures, talking like the Buffaloes are limping into this weekend's matchup. But anyone counting this team out is making a big mistake. Sure, last week's game wasn't the cleanest, but Colorado's resolve is stronger than ever. And with the chip on our shoulder growing bigger by the day, Saturday's showdown is about more than just another W. It's personal. We struggled last game, no doubt. But everyone acting like we're weak because of one performance will see just how wrong they are when we roll into their stadium. We're coming to handle business. They're in for a rude awakening. That rude awakening stems from more than just wanting to bounce back from a tough game. Colorado's confidence is as high as ever, and they're bringing a sense of revenge into Saturday's matchup. Last year, Colorado left Colorado State in the dust, silencing any talk of superiority on the field. The Buffs dominated, proving that all the pregame chatter doesn't matter when it's time to line up and play. We owe them one, and that's just something that's been sitting on everybody you know, mine since we came back from break. You know, we owe them. And we walked away from that game, you know, as you know, we kind of left it all on the field. I don't feel like we left it all on the field because we should have murdered them guys. And, you know, they came out with that attitude as they were on top of the world. And this ain't no Cinderella story. So we coming for revenge. Yeah, they came out with that attitude and thought it was going to be a cakewalk. They saw the reports, 27 and a half points or whatever it was. Um, and they got a rude, rude awakening real quick. And I think it goes to show that uh, the hype, the media train, all that, it only gets you so far at the end of the day. You have to line up 11 guys against our 11 guys and we'll find out who wants it more. And we'll see how far uh, Instagram followers gets them. We all came here to play football, so at the end of the day, the millions of followers and fans that they then produced and got and celebrities that then jumped on their side because of who Deion Sanders is, at the end of the day, Deion Sanders ain't playing. It's those players playing, so those players better back up on what they speak about. We handled them last year, and we're ready to do it again. They can talk all they want about how they owe us one, but the truth is, We owe them one, big time. And that's where this game goes from being another in-state showdown to something much deeper. Colorado hasn't forgotten what happened to Travis Hunter earlier this season, a cheap shot that took our star player out for weeks. The hit was a clear shot to the heart of Coach Prime's team, and it hasn't been forgiven or forgotten. That dirty hit on Travis is still fresh in our minds. We haven't forgotten about that cheap shot. They can keep talking about payback, but we're the ones with something to settle. They're going to feel that when we step on that field. Colorado's mindset is clear. They're not just playing to win, but to remind everyone who they are. This team is built for moments like this with a leader in Coach Prime who thrives under pressure and motivates his squad to respond when the odds seem stacked against them. Coach Prime knows how to fuel that fire, and his players know how to back it up. For all the talk about Colorado being a media darling, the team understands that social media followers and celebrity fans don't win football games. Wins come from heart, grit, and execution on the field. This weekend, they're ready to prove it. The disrespect and trash talk only add fuel to the fire. We're coming to win, to dominate. All the talking, all the trash, it's nothing new to us. At the end of the day, it's 11 against 11. And when the pads hit, we'll see who really wants it more. This ain't about hype. It's about showing up and playing football. Saturday's game won't just be about redemption for a tough game last week. 
It's about defending Colorado's name, settling old scores, and sending a message loud and clear. Don't ever count this team out. For Colorado, payback is coming Colorado State. 